Hi friends, we will see questions from heat transfer. Heat transfer is very useful for all the branches. So, questions are asked from this very important topic. You will have minimum 8 marks from this particular section. All radiations in a black body are, they are absorbed. They are absorbed. So, black body is meant for absorbing all the radiation. The heat is transferred by conduction convection radiation in boiler furnace. Boiler furnace. Heat is transferred by all three modes of transfer conduction convection radiation in once again its boiler we have seen. So, full gases when you are burning the fuel that will be uh, convection. So, in the tubes there will be uh, basically when the fuel is burnt a uh, lot of fire will be there radiation and between the tube and the water uh, basically water and tube it is uh, convection and within the tube it is conduction. So, all the modes of heat transfer are absorbed in the boiler. The radiation emitted by a black body is also known as all of these it is known as black body radiation, full radiation, total radiation and everything. The amount of heat flow through a body by conduction is uh, it is D all of the above. So, basically it is K A D T by T X correct Q dot K thermal conductivity A area temperature gradient D T and D X is the thickness of the wall. The MC power of a body depends upon what all of the above temperature wavelength physical nature all of the above. The amount of radiation mainly depends upon once again D nature of body temperature of the body type of surface of the body etc. Film coefficient is defined as inside diameter of the tube, thermal conductivity equivalent thickness of film specific heat into viscosity. Remember friends, thermal diffusivity is a, what is this? It is basically physical property of a substance. Thermal diffusivity, what is uh, alpha? It is denoted by alpha, K by rho Cp. K thermal conductivity, conductivity rho uh, density and Cp is the specific heat. The most commonly used method for the design of duct size is, this is a good question friends, static regain method. So, thermal diffusivity is very very important in, un, it is called non-uniform heat transfer steady state not steady state unsteady state heat transfer the value of plant number for air is about 0 0.7 it's a good question friends plant number what is plant number mu cp by k mu cp by k mu coefficient of sorry uh, dynamic viscosity cp uh, specific heat k thermal conductivity of the fluid remember that not the wall a steam pipe is to be insulated by two insulating materials put over each other for best results. A good question, friends. Often asked. Better insulation should be put over pipe and a better one over it. Insulation, then after that, better one above that. Total heat is the heat required to convert water into steam and superheat it. Convert into convert water into steam and superheat it also. That means from ice, ice to water, water to steam, and to superheat it. Exactly, it is uh, it, the total heat required from bringing ice at minus 5 degree centigrade to let us say steam at 105 degree centigrade. So, all these are involved. Okay, uh, then melting of ice to water, then water conversion of water, uh, conversion of water to steam then steam is superheated. So, minus 5 degrees ice to 5 degrees steam. This is the best example for the total heat gain. Sensible heat is the heat required to increase the temperature of the liquid or vapor both. There is no change in change of phase in that only change in temperature for latent heat there is a change of phase but there is no change in temperature. When heat is transferred from one particle of hot body to another by actual motion of the heated particles, it is referred to as the heat transfer by conduction. So, 
when heat is transferred from hot body to cold body in a straight line without affecting the intervening medium, it is referred to as the heat transfer by radiation. Radiation. So here you have to concentrate on the word intervening medium. For example, you are getting the heat from sun, though there is a vacuum over 1000 kilometers over the earth's surface. The concept of overall heat transfer coefficient, coefficient of heat transfer is used in case of heat transfer by conduction and convection. Conduction and convection. So what is that? 1 by U is equal to 1 by HI plus 1 by HO plus L by KA. Right? So, HI inside heat transfer coefficient, convective, HO outside heat transfer coefficient and L by KA. Please check this friends. I think it should be L by KA or KA by L, whatever it is, right? So, it is the, L is the length of the wall, sorry, thickness of the wall and K is the thermal conductivity of the wall and A is the area of cross section. Please check it. L by KA or K by L, something other, okay? Please check it once again. But both are involved, conduction and convection. When heat is transferred by molecular collision, it is referred to as heat transfer by convection. Convection. So, please go through the terminology very, very carefully. Stephen Boltzmann law is applicable for heat transfer by radiation, basically. What is this law? It is given by Q dot is equal to sigma A t to the power of 4. Stephen Boltzmann coefficient sigma A is the uh, area through which the radiation is taking place. T is the absolute temperature of the surface of the body. So, you have to necessarily convert into uh, temperature in centigrade to temperature in Kelvin by adding 273. Do not forget that. A non-dimensional number generally associated with the natural convection heat transfer is Grashof number. Grashof number is uh, important in natural convection similar to Prandtl number in force convection. The overall heat transfer coefficient transfer heat transfer coefficient is kilo calories per hour meter square degree centigrade or you can say kilo joule per meter square or kilowatt per meter square kelvin also kilo calories is the unit of energy and hour is the unit of time meter square is the area and degree centigrade is the change in temperature unit of thermal conductivity in SI units watt per meter kelvin both, sorry, B and C, joule per meter per kelvin second, joule per second is equal to watt, watt per meter kelvin, both are same. There is no question of any meter square area, area is involved in only convection. According to Wien's law, wavelength corresponding to maximum energy is proportional to absolute temperature. So, this is lambda m t is equal to some constant, right? T is absolute temperature and lambda is the wavelength. C is a constant. Which of the following has least value of conductivity? This is a good question, friends. Air has the least value of conductivity. Maybe order of the fraction. According to Prevost theory of heat exchange, good question. All bodies above absolute zero emit radiation absolute zero is not is not possible to be achieved in finite number of cycles this is what we have observed in thermodynamics absolute zero everything will come to stand still so there is no motion of molecules no energy at all conduction is a process of heat transfer from one particle of the body to another without the actual motion of the particles Without the bodily movement of the particles, you have to remember those keywords. According to Dalton's law of partial pressures, PB is equal to PA plus PV. PB is equal to PA plus PV. Those are the partial pressures. Some of the partial pressures is equal to total pressure. A composite slab has two layers of different materials. Thermal conductivity is K1, K2. Each layer has the same thickness, then the equivalent thermal conductivity of the slab is. This is a good question, friends. It is 2K1, K2 by K1 plus K2. Total emissivity of a polished silver compared to black body is definitely very much lower. Very much lower. 
depending on the radiation radiation radiating properties a black bo a body will be black when this is a good question friends a absorptivity is good one transmittivity and reflectivity rho and x are zero but alpha absorptivity is good one then it is called black body heat conducted through per unit area and unit thickness per unit time where temperature difference between opposite faces is unity is called thermal conductivity so in the equation q dot is equal to k a d t by d x okay so if this is one this is one this is one then k is equal to 1 that's what is given in the definition the rate of heat flow through a body is equal to q is equal to q dot in fact k a d t by d x the term k x by k a is known as resistance thermal resistance conductive thermal resistance because it is basically the conduction equation depending on the radiating properties a body will be white when transmittivity is zero and absorptivity is zero reflectivity should be equal to 1 then it is called a white body depending on the radiating property body will be transparent when it will be transparent transmittivity is equal to 1 reflectivity absorptivity is zero transmittivity is equal to 1 then it is called transparent body the expression q is equal to rho a sigma it is actually a t to power of r is called stefan boltzmann equation stefan boltzmann equation this is a famous equation in the radiation heat transfer by radiation fourier's equation for uh, conduction newton richman equation for i think uh, convection joseph stefan equation i have not had friend just check it in heat transfer conduction conductance equals conductivity divided by kilo kelvin is heat the time constant of a thermocouple this is a good question friends 63.2% you have to underline that it is the time taken to attain 63.2% of the value of the initial temperature difference the total emissivity power is defined as the total amount of radiation emitted by black body per unit time time is important not the temperature not the thickness not the area heat transfer takes place as per this is a good question friend most of the times it is asked it is by second law of thermodynamics not the first law of thermodynamics which which talks about the conversion of energy uh, not the zero law of thermodynamics which talks about the temperature thermal diffusivity is a physical property of the material a physical property of the material unit of thermal conductivity is thermal diffusivity it is equal to meter square per hour meter square per hour meter square per hour or second also you can if you take unit of time in seconds it can be written as meter square per second or meter square per hour or meter square per minute also but meter square per second is most famous but anyhow if you take the higher unit of higher unit of time you can take it as meter square per hour generally uh if the time is more you have to take the area is also more meter square generally it should be centimeter square per second or meter square per hour temperature of steam at around 540 degrees can be measured by this is a good question friends it is by thermocouples very high temperatures thermocouples measure very high temperature thermometer how much very less thermistor very less but thermocouples are used for measuring higher temperatures the total radiation from a black body per second per unit time area uh, per unit area is dash fourth power of the absolute temperature this statement is known as stefan boltzmann law so what it is it is directly proportional to t to power of 4 q dot is equal to sigma a t to power of 4 so q dot is directly proportional to t to power of 4 absolute temperature raised to the power of 4 the use of use of heat exchangers is made in where all of them radiators in a mobile condenser and boilers in steam plants condensers evaporators in 
REAC, refrigeration and air conditioning rates. The heat transfer from hot body to cold body is directly proportional to the surface area and temperature difference of the between the two bodies. This statement is called Newton's law of cooling. Newton's law of heating and Newton's law of cooling. They are basically the laws in the convection heat transfer. Which of the following statement is wrong? It is the third statement is wrong. That is thermal conductivity of solid materials increases with rise in temperature. In fact, it should decrease. When alpha is absorbed to it, rho reflectivity and tau transfer it Then for a diathermous body, it's a good question, friends. Diathermous body, alpha is equal to 0, rho is equal to 0, but tau is equal to 1. Transmittivity is equal to 1. It is nothing but transparent body, right? We have seen earlier also. It is also called diathermous body. Planck's law holds good for black bodies. Planck's law is very suitable and very important for black bodies. Not the polished bodies, not the all colored bodies. Thermal conductivity of a material may be defined as what? Let us see the basic definition. It is all of the above. It is all of the above. What is it? Let us see. It is the quantity of heat flowing in one second through one centimeter cube of material. An opposite phase are maintained uh, at temperature difference of one degree. Quantity of heat flowing one second through a slab of one material. Uh, so the slab of the material of the uh, area of 1 centimeter square, thickness 1 centimeter and when space is different by temperature 1 degree centigrade, heat conducted in unit time across unit area through unit thickness when temperature difference of unit is maintained between unit is maintained between all the phases. So in fact everything turns out to be the same. Meaning is same. A perfect black body is the one which absorbs heat radiations of all wavelengths falling on it all wavelengths falling on it okay friends in this video we have seen 50 good questions from heat transfer which are useful for your uh, ts Janko exam to be conducted now may not be on uh, 31st of this month friends it may be postponed because of the elections so the next date the fresh date will be announced by either the election commission with the directions of the election commission probably uh, tspc is going to declare the fresh dates of the ts Janko examination for all the uh, faculties. Okay, friends. So, let us meet in the next video with another set of 50 questions from heat transfer for your examination. See you all very shortly. All the best.